All right, guys, welcome to the video that everybody's been waiting for. So road trip video, we didn't really make too much um, just because of how tired and exhausted we were getting from such a long drive. Uh, however, you know, we were finally back and home. You guys have seen some teasers. You saw me pull in front of RJ during the live stream and you also probably had seen little bits of it um, when I did the toddler's reaction. So guys, it's finally time for me to introduce you to the addition to the Halloween display coming for this year, our new car. All right guys, so what we have here is a 2005 Cadillac DeVille hearse. For the most part, in really good body shape. So you can see we've already added the Ecto-1 play to it. I'm still a little up in the air on how much I'm going to do to this. Um, I do want to use this one mainly for the yard. Um, so we may still end up getting a second one, which if we get a second one, it'll probably be one this same body style, but a little bit newer. So the whole name reveal thing I'm not doing yet um, because this car might possibly not even get the name um, because this one might just be used solely for the display so this one does have like high mileage and stuff like that and a little bit of rust spots on the body that need to be repaired so this one might not be labeled as a channel car this one might just be used for the halloween setup uh, but that's yet to be determined so no name reveal yet um, because you know we're still pondering if we're going to be getting a second one or if this one's going to be it after the repairs are done now, you guys can see, it does have a nice Cadillac hood ornament, which I think is awesome. And we've already got our first passenger, which is a Spirit Halloween uh, static prop. So, traditional Cadillac rims. Now, as far as the body stuff goes, we've got a rust spot there, which needs to be attended to. Um, and then we have rust here and right there on that door. So overall, the body of this is really not in bad shape. It's just these pieces here that need to be attended to. Here is the inside of the car. So the seats are actually in really good shape. You hear my dog barking, he's outside right now. So he hates when motorcycles and cars go by. Um, but very clean inside, has the, uh, the pull down shifter on it. So there's no shifter here. Um, uh, very clean, nice wood grain right here. You guys can see we had the, uh, dash camera sitting in. We've got our little friend here. And right over here, you can see the, the glass, which separates you know, the driver and passenger from the dead passenger. Now, there are a couple of cool little bells and whistles with this, but we will be doing a fax video of things that you didn't know about hearses. Um, and that's going to be coming later where we'll actually show you things like, for example, what that button is for. So there are tons of goodies that are actually in this. Um, which honestly I didn't even know these things about hearses until you know finally owning one but here you can see the inside of the door panel we've got the curtains now these aren't just uh, slide on curtains these are actually on the door panel so these don't these don't move um, you'd actually have to like rip these off um, but they're clean they're in great shape there's no stains there's no tears and right here is actually where the funeral home's name would be displayed. You would just kind of put it there. So it would be a custom metal banner. Now these windows do not move. They, they stay. They do not go up and down. Back here is the back section, which is the prime staple of a hearse. You guys can see this is still fully equipped with all the rollers and things like that. And here's a look inside. No stains on the uh, on the roof in here. You know the ceiling, and no stains or rips anywhere over there. So it's in very very good shape. Now this does have some issues. The uh, the rubber is starting to crack on the rollers. Uh, some rollers don't even have the rubber. Um, but using for a display and out of service, 
it's not really needed. Now, it does not have the beer pins, um, so that kind of sucks um, because there'd be two here and then one in the back. This does not have those, um, but it actually did come with one of these, which so you guys know what this is, this is actually the device that lowers the body into the casket. So this is kind of cool that that's in there. Underneath of this panel here, you will see where we have the spare tire, the jack. That is a compartment that goes straight back. And back here we have where there is a second battery. Um, and then down there is actually fuses underneath of that panel. When you have the headlights on, this actually illuminates. And the vinyl top that's actually on this is in really, really good shape. Now, coming home, it did take a rock right here. Um, so it has a tear, which we could seal that. And then uh, right here, it started to tear a little bit. Um, but it looks like prior, there was something going across this to kind of help seal it. Um, so this just needs to be resealed. But aside from that, the vinyl top is pretty much in immaculate condition which is amazing um right here we have the bars which so funny funny fact the guy that i bought this off of he actually had someone call the cops on him saying that he was impersonating a uh, a funeral car um, by leaving these on now let me just clarify this is something that's going to be featured in my video later on but these are not impersonating a funeral car these are actually off of the old like 60s style cars um, because what happened was this is the initial piece that did the convertible um, so like it would from here to like go back and then from there it would like go down um, so it's a, a, a fake convertible bar essentially um, but everybody associates it, they associate it with the funeral homes and the hearses because of its elegance and its style which is why they had the vinyl top and that um, so it's meant to look like a soft top for the uh, luxury aspect um, so not impersonating a, uh, a funeral by any means now uh, right back over here again one big thing this door is in great shape and the vinyl around this door is in great shape so that's that's definitely a plus um, because if you have any issue with your back door, you're probably screwed. Um, now, speaking of screwed, I don't know what this screw is here for. Somebody had one in here too, but you know, whatever. Probably something that was sticking up back here. Um, something cool with that, but you got to stay tuned for that video. Um, but again, just the uh, just the uh, panel here. Um, with the curtains, they don't move. They're just all kind of tied in and we have our handle here to pull it shut. Um, now this block of wood came with it just to kind of stick in there when the door is all the way open just to make sure that it doesn't, you know, slam shut. But here's a look right down through the back of it. And this piece here is, ta-da! So that's so that way the casket does not bang into the car causing any damage and right here you guys can actually see there's a cutout so there's a hidey hole here as well so again something else to stay tuned for in that future video as we tell you the unknown realms of things that are hidden in secret inside of hearses but like i said the overall body of this thing is in immaculate shape only that little bit of rust so and right back here, this is where the rear beer pin would actually be located. It would sit in there until the cast gets in, and then it would go according to the size right there. But we do have the nice flowers on the sides. There's the light there, and there's a light up there. And it's, it's very long. Now one thing here, this is a spot, it's uh, cracking the paint, that's something that would have to be touched up. Um, and then we have a paint chip missing right there. But essentially, overall, the paint really isn't too bad on this thing. And right here you can get a closer view of our passenger friend here who's going to be spending her eternity just kind of sitting in this car. 
but same thing this door looks nice we've got the uh the wood grain going through so guys let me know down below in the comments what you think of this car like i said for right now we're not really planning on giving this one the channel car name um, just because of the high mileage that's on it i don't know that overall that this one's going to be you know the dependable one um and you know with some of the repairs that i need to get done to more or less restore it so this one may stay as being a yard ornament you guys know prior i was talking about possibly buying two of them um so that's pretty much where i'm at yet so no name reveals we're going to see what kind of comes of this and don't forget we'll have the videos showing the hidden things that are things you would not know about a hearse and let me tell you something the things that I've already found out about this thing, just like even replacing a battery for it, is a complete headache. So there are things that you can't find online that I really want to try to touch base on and kind of get on the market with um, for YouTube videos. So make sure you guys are stay tuned for all that. And if you know someone that likes hearses or is into hearses, make sure you share this video with them. Um, so that way you guys can also have interaction where, you know, if someone has a suggestion or a question about something, then I can actually come out here and tinker around and, you know, figure it out. Uh, but this is a 2005 does have the North Star engine in it So we are in the year where it's past the uh, the head bolt issue um, So this will not have that problem, but again, it does have the high mileage and things like that So I'm not looking to really put this one on the road right now. We're going to focus on um, You know just keeping it for a Halloween display plus the Mustang took a little bit of damage on the way to go get this so the full video will be up of that shortly with the incident of what happened. Um, it's not anything too major, but it is currently over at the body shop because it's going to need uh, some paint. Um, so stay tuned for, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this and are looking forward to seeing it in the yard with all the inflatables this year. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys next time. The apocalypse.